Now play nice. Play nice. Wade. Uh, Cameron, um, you dance a bit heavy for me. Yeah? You don't seem light enough on your feet. Um, it's not snappy enough for me. Um, with this, also, the, the musicality seemed really soft. Like, it's, it's a real sort of nitpicky thing for me. It's a pet peeve of me that I need somebody to dance inside of the music. <laughs> He's not soft. I need someone to dance inside of the music, and you were sort of floating on top of the music. Yeah? It's a bit of anticipation. It's just you're not in the pocket, right? Um, Lacey, you're always a great performer, yeah? Uh, as, you were, as you were again, yeah? Um, I, I think you played the role as, as what it was supposed to be tonight. The, in general, there's one thing that I do worry about you, worry about for you, is that I think your performance level is always professional. I don't know if it's personal. That may not be so much about tonight. And I know maybe I'm not supposed to go off of, uh, outside of tonight. I think you, you did what you were supposed to do, but it, it seems maybe a bit contrived that it's a bit one-dimensional, your performance level, the emotion. Um, um, and, then, and then as a couple, I, I think generally it was a bit soft. I think Dan's style walks the line between being, there is a lot of fluidity and smooth movements, but there's also those moments that are just, just, ah, just rock, and I never felt that fire completely enough from either of you, especially Cameron, but from either of you. So it was okay for me. Okay. That's an okay. Mary, what about you? Well, Nigel, I think we have another one of those numbers where the girl just didn't get the guy again. He went off in the audience and another picked up fa another failed relationship. <laughs> now, who would want to leave Lacey? For God's sake, she's a star! <laughs> yeah, I can see what Wade was saying. It's not hitting it hard enough. Um, I get it too when you say that you know he dances heavy like that. I can I agree, and this isn't the first time. Um, so with him over here, and I still feel like Lacey is still right on point. She's still pulling it out every single week. So it's a mixed bag for me tonight on this number. Okay, Mary, <laughs> no problem. I get you, okay, thank you. Nigel. Uh, Dan actually said right at the beginning of these shows that he felt as though you were a prop. And you were given the opportunity tonight of not being the prop. Lacey sat down and thought, well, okay, you know, I've been doing all the work over the weeks, get on with it. <laughs> uh, did you bring it, Cameron? No, I don't think you did. I wanted much more. If you're gonna do a solo in the middle of the routine, you've gotta bring much more than that. You had a solo there to really sell yourself. I don't feel as though you did. But, have you ever been in the bottom three? Never. Never as a couple, have you? So, we'll see what happens. So, do you think they're in trouble, then? Um, do I think they deserve to be in the bottom three couples out of all the other routines tonight? Yeah, it wasn't my favourite routine out of everything I've seen tonight, by any means. And, and did you pick out that lady at random? Um, yes, I did. I saw her out there and I just <laughs> grabbed her up here and just <laughs> gave her a little smooch. What a charmer! What a charmer! Behave, you. She's watching. Now, if you want to keep these two safe and away from the judges, you have to pick up that phone and dial. For Lacey and Cameron, call 1-888-TEMPO-06. That's one 888 836 Remember, you'll get at least two hours to vote for your favourite at the end of the show. And that's Lacey and Cameron. Nobody else. Well done.